Are you fed up with the way your Windows 11 looks? Does it look boring? Do you want to brighten it up? Well, this video is going to show you how. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, my Windows is looking pretty drab and boring. The Windows 11 backdrop was okay for a while, but now I'm getting a bit bored with it. So how do you get better backdrops, better backgrounds, more interesting ones? Well, we're going to show you how. So first of all, make sure you're back to the desktop like I am now, and then move your mouse over any area of the desktop that doesn't have an icon on it and click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. Then go down to personalize, left click once. Then click on themes just there. And here you've got an option to choose other themes that are included with Windows, but you can go a step further. You can get more themes from the Microsoft Store. So click on Browse Themes. In the Microsoft Store, there's much more interesting themes and there's absolutely loads to choose from. Now, most of them are free. Some of them have got a price on them, but um, let's just have a quick look. So if we want to download one, say for instance, I want to download Autumn Colors just here. I click on that. Then click on get just there. And if it asks me to sign in, just knock out the sign in, but it hasn't on this occasion. As you can see on the left, it's just downloading. Now this might take a bit of time if your internet connection is slow like mine, but uh, there you go, it's now downloaded, it's now installing. So there we go, we've got an open there now. So if we left click on open, and that then adds that theme to there. So if I click on that, OK, let's go back to the main menu and there you go. As you can see, I've got a much more interesting background. You'll also notice that when you go into things like settings, some of the menu colours have also changed. So they've gone red. But what if you want to select some more? Well, let's just come out of that. Click on or right click on the desktop, left click personalise, go into themes. So click on that and then go to browse themes just underneath there where it just says get more from the Microsoft Store. There we go, let's just try this Night Skies Premium theme. So click on it, click get, it will start to download. And again, this bit might take a bit of time. It really just depends on the speed of your internet connection and of course the speed of your computer as well. This one's a little bit of a, uh, a, a smaller download. So once you see open, left click once on it, and there, as you can see under themes there, you've got night skies there. So if we click on that and click on the cross just up there, click on the cross again, and there you go. There's some night skies themes and these will change every few minutes or every few seconds. It's not just the one picture you're getting in these theme packs. Some of them got more than others. So there we go, a minute's gone by and the theme has changed. Now, if we want to skip forward and have a look through, again, just right click anywhere on the desktop that's not being taken up by an icon and then left click next back desktop background. And there you go. As you can see, it will sc scroll through all the different backgrounds we've got there. Now, if you want to change the settings, for instance, on how often these change, then again, right click on any empty area of the desktop, go down to personalize, left click once, and then go into background just up there. So left click that. And here we go. So we've got here change picture every, and at the moment it's set to every minute, or we could say every 10 minutes, 30 minutes, every hour, every six hours, or have a different picture every week. It's really up to you. We can also shuffle the picture order so that it doesn't change in any fixed order. So it just shuffles them up. Let the slideshow run if on battery power, because on battery power, it um, stops the slideshow from running, stops changing the themes. And if the theme doesn't fit properly to your desktop, then you can choose whether you want it to fit to desktop, stretch, tile, center or span. You can have a play with these and you can actually see if you scroll up a little bit and just change these. There you go. It shows you how 
each option is going to change how your desktop looks. So it's probably best to leave it on fill though, if you can. And you've got up there a slideshow, so you can either have it on slideshow, you can even change your desktop background to Windows Spotlight. So Windows chooses your back desktop background every day, or you can go to picture, which you can choose from down here, or you can go to solid color. So if you just want a particular color on your background, if you want a plain boring background, because your computer is running a bit slow, then you can do that. But the normal one to stay on if you're using these things is slideshow. Now, what if you want to go back, back to your normal Windows theme? Then all you do is again, right click on any empty area of the desktop, go down to personalize, left click once, and then go into background there, and then go into themes there, and then just click the theme that you had to begin with. As you can see, mine was just the Windows theme there. So I just click on that. And then that takes us back to the plain, boring Windows background. But there you go. So that is a great way of lightening up your windows and give you a selection of brilliant pictures for your desktop background. I hope you like this video and I hope it helped you. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel. That button is just below this video. Or if you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick, a Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories or any computer equipment, then have a look at the links down below. Donating to this channel or purchasing through the links down below really does help to support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. Thanks for watching.